afternoon, Cherries fans, and welcome to the latest show here on Up the Cherries in All Departments. Before we discuss our new sign-in, here's a little bit of our sponsors, Dental on the Banks. find out what they can do for you visit dentalonthebanks.co.uk so if you're not already aware the cherries have signed ryan fredericks who both myself and al guard were discussing on our transfer target show the other day um so please do check out that video as well here on the channel um it's really interesting and we wonder how many more um of these will actually come to fruition we've already got one right so that's always good but although there was quite a little, lot of murmurings in the press beforehand so yeah please do let us know and to give us some idea how many you predict are we're going to get right um so, Ryan Fredericks, let's talk about him. So, he grew up in Hammersmith in London. Um, he is only 29 years of age. He's only, um, his birthday's just a day before mine, believe it or not. Um, albeit, I'm quite a bit older. Um, and probably not as good at football. Um, but he started off at the Spurs Academy um, and was quickly awarded a professional contract. He never actually played for Spurs. Um, so he didn't actually get a first team appearance. Um, however, his first move in and his first game in professional football was with Brentford. So just down the road um, from White Hart Lane, as it was at the time, um, he made his debut um, after signing for them in August 2012 with a 1-0 defeat at Walsall in the League Cup. Um, he made his league debut against Berry um, in a nil-nil draw um, very shortly after that game as well. And um, his home debut was against Oldham. Um, that was a one-nil win. What Tottenham did at that point, he only played four games for Brentford, believe it or not. Um, they actually recalled him from his loan um, and back to the Tottenham squad. Um, Fredericks was quite pleased with his time at Brentford and was it was a short period of time, no doubt, um, but it did benefit him, he feels. Um, in January 2014, so midway through the 13-14 season, he joined Millwall. And that was on a three-month loan. Um, he actually started his first game, um, which was against Ipswich. Um, and he actually scored the only goal of the game. So he scored on his debut um, with a lob from the right-back position. So he can score a goal, although they are very infrequent. Um, after two more appearances as well, um, his loan spell was actually extended at Mill till the end of the season. Um, and he's become, he's become a full first team regular there. He's, he played um, a further 11 times, making it 14 appearances in total for the Lions at the Den um, and was highly regarded um, from the Millwall fans that I have spoken to. 
He returned to Spurs, um, but at the start of the new season, um, the 2014-2015 season, quite memorable for us, mind, um, he joined Middlesbrough um, and he was called up um, a little way into his spell there by Ita Karanka um, following an injury to Abella. Um, and his league debut actually come in September 2014 against former team Brentford. Um, and Middlesbrough won that game 4 0. He did play um, a further 16 times for the, the Borough um, and at the Riverside and making it 17 appearances in total there. Um, again, you know, highly thought of at Middlesbrough, was part of a successful side that actually finished fourth that season. Um, and then after that, he was actually sold to Bristol City. Now, this is a weird one because Bristol City signed him on a three-year contract. Um, he only, though, played four times for the Robins. And it was quite interesting because he, he started off his career, of course, at the right back position um, during his time at Bristol City. And I think this is, might be why he wanted to leave the club. Um, he was played as a right midfielder, but then moved into left midfield um, in a 2-0 loss away at Sheffield Wednesday. Um, he only spent 26 days at the club and making five appearances in total, um, which, you know, included, of course, a cup game. Um, Fredericks decided because of personal reasons, he wanted to leave Bristol City and he wanted to return to London. And his route back to London was with Fulham. And this is why he's probably ended up at AFC Bournemouth. Um, during the first season at Fulham, um, a side that finished 20th in the league, believe it or not, um, he played 32 games. The following season, he played 30 games and two appearances in the FA Cup. But during that season, 2016-2017 season, um, Fulham actually finished in the playoff places and they were beaten in the semi-finals by Reading. During that spell, um, his final season at Fulham, Fulham finally did get promoted to the Premier League. And they got promoted via the playoffs, where they had failed a year earlier, um, under Jokanovic as well. And he was virtually ever-present. He played 44 games for the Cottagers, with one FA Cup appearance as well. Of course, he also played in all three of the games in the playoffs as well, including the final. At the end of that season, he decided that to move on to West Ham United um, and he signed a four-year contract after leaving Fulham. Um, that four-year contract has, of course, come to an end now. Um, his debut for the Hammers was a 4-0 defeat away at Liverpool. Um, he also scored his first goal for West Ham in a very impressive 8-0 win against Macclesfield Town in the League Cup. So he's had quite a lot of experience at West Ham. Um, the first season, he played 15 games. He scored a goal. Um, he also played in the FA Cup and the League Cup. He scored a goal in the League Cup as well. Um, the following season was his best appearances for West Ham United and he played 27 times for the Hammers um, during that spell. He didn't score any goals that season um, but he was pretty much you know, ever-present. He only missed uh, 11 games that season. After that, though, it has tailed off a little bit. And unfortunately, um, it appears that after Pellegrini um, left the club, David Moyes hasn't really favoured him. 2020, 2021, he played only 14 times. Um, he scored one goal. He played in the FA Cup as well twice. Um, that game against Manchester United as well was in there. Um, 
And then last season was quite disappointing for Fredericks. He only played seven times, scored, played twice in the FA Cup, once in the League Cup. Um, he, of course, is a very, very capable player. He's quick. He's agile. Um, he offers something a little bit different to Smithy. Um, defensively, um, there's some question marks over him. However, um, he does know how to put balls into the box, get lots of crosses in um, from what I've seen. Um, and I think personally, it's a good bit of business. Do I expect him to start against Aston Villa first game of the season? Probably not. However, I do think that he'll be a major part of our squad. And I think he will bring something a little bit different as well. So Scott Parker can mix it up. And that's what it's all about in the Premier League. Having that plan B, plan C, plan D, if you need it as well. Um, Please do let us know what your thoughts are. Um, please do refer to our video with our guard as well. Um, do let us know how many you think we will get right. We have got a very special show that should be coming up fairly soon as well on this channel. So please do keep your eyes and ears open for that as well. Hit that subscribe and that bell button. You'll be alerted the first moment that video is actually announced as well. Um, it should be coming out probably the week beginning the 4th of July. Um, however, it might come out a little bit before that. We just have to wait and see. But it should be a really interesting, exciting video as well to do um, with loads of content. Um, you're probably going to be watching it for quite some time as well um, because it's going to be thorough. It's going to be a thorough, thorough video um, with lots of fans getting involved as well. Until the next video, up the cherries, and I'll see you then.